Yo guys, Gluten-Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten-sensitive representative. Today, I'm going to do something a little different for the channel. I have an Adzin. This is a really cool knife from Recon 1. It's their first knife that they're putting out that I'm aware of. Really, really cool knife. You could see it's got kind of like that European vibe going. Looks like you could see like some Sinkovich, you could see some Shirogorov in there. It's really, really cool. Pretty substantial knife at, I believe it's three and a half inches. Don't have my ruler on me right now to confirm. What I do have is another knife I could do a comparison of, which is three and a quarter. And yeah, it looks about a quarter inch longer. So I'm gonna, I'm pretty confident with that then. It's about three and a half inches. So what I wanna do for this video is a quick go over the knife. So beautiful, beautiful knife. You've got some contoured titanium with chamfers all around. Really beautifully done. This back spacer is, oh my goodness, I love it. How it's just scalloped out there. It comes to like, kind of like a point there. Nothing sharp, of course. That provides a bit hanging over for the lanyard, which completes the shape, right? Fantastic, fantastic pocket clip. It's a bit tight. Not too much surface area, but I could see that being a little difficult if this wasn't so easy to maneuver up and down. It's actually pretty great. Fairly deep carry really cool i like what they did here so they anodized the pivot the hardware the clip and the backspacer all of it the same color i think that's nice gives it a little pop <clears throat> you'll notice thumb studs on this this is from my buddy backpack b brent he actually went ahead and modded it to add some thumb studs really really cool He's doing a lot of cool work, guys. Uh, I believe Knife Owl, I'll include that in the video. But back to the blade, you have this really cool kind of like bead blast, vapor honed kind of finish. And then a flat, you have the satin flat. Really beautiful. I think the blade is just like the star of the show here. You've got this perfect drop point, very classic drop point. I think they do... The grind here, which I am blanking, the plunge grind, there it is, they do that really well. So then the essentially sharpening choil is really good. So you're just past that enough that you're not going to hit that until you're really high up on the blade. And man, oh man, that'd take a lot of sharpening because this is M390, so it's going to last a good while. It says the blade steel right there. You can kind of make it out with the thumb stud. And then up top, what's really cool about the blade, right? So you have this flat, this swedge, and then you have this swoop down from here all the way to here, kind of starts swooping back up and then angles back down. I think that's just really unique. That's really beautiful to see. I really like that. The action on it is fantastic. So it's typically flipper only. I could do without the flipper, honestly. It's not my favorite flipper, but it works. The thumb stud, however, that Brent put on there, my goodness, that is perfect thumb stud placement and it works really well. Really cool to see. So I wanna take this down and clean it up and just show you my general process for doing so. So we're going to what I like to do is have tension on the lock bar, so I open it partially, right? And then you just start taking the screws apart. So we have the pivot, which is uh, two-sided. We're gonna have to have something locked there. We have the single body screw here, and then single body screw here. I imagine this body screw here goes all the way through the back spacer, holds that in, along with that body screw here. And then this body screw actually goes all the way through and holds the pocket clip in. But we'll see. It's hidden hardware for the pocket clip on this side, at least. 
So let's dive on in. I'm going to do the pivot first. So I just have some Weha bits. I've got a precision tool and then the stubby. These are T8. Everything on this knife is T8. Love seeing that. Makes the tear down much easier. Oh yeah, there is maybe some Loctite from Brent. I'll Loctite it back up for you, bud. <laughs> and we're closing the blade. There we go. Okay. Carefully take that out so I don't scratch it up for Brent. Just taking the screws out now. So what I'm going to do is leave that there. I'll take this screw out now. Typically like to use the stubby a little bit more personally. Just get a lot more tension. There we go. Take that out. Ugh, it was sliding out. All right, I'm pretty sure I just can get it apart now. Get that out of the way. Hmm. Seems to almost be out. Surprised. I wonder if there's a barrel screw there. No, it doesn't look like a. So this is what's causing my hang up. I think I do need to take that out. Oh. There we go. So I think these being longer, we're just holding it in place. So I was right. This screw goes all the way through. Doesn't hold, oh yeah, it does hold the pocket clip in. Yep, so there we go. So that's what's going on there. Got this guy. It's really clean in here. Get that there. I'll clean everything up. What's really cool to see is this looks like skiff multi row ceramic bearings. Beautiful. So pretty clean for the most part. I know you see some debris in there. Uh, if you couldn't tell from the scales, this is definitely a user. So we'll get that off the pivot barrel. Get those over there. I'm going to need those shortly. Okay. Let's see, yep, so it doesn't matter which way these bearings go on, which is nice to say. They are caged, beautiful. Can't beat multi row ceramic. So we'll get that there. Does look like there is a steel washer. I'm not sure if that'll come out. We'll see momentarily. And we have the blade. All right, so let's start cleaning her down. I just got regular old Q-tips, some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. It is 70%. I don't get the 90%. I don't think it's going to make a big enough difference. 
but you know maybe it does and i'm crazy but i've never had rust from that honestly so i'm just gonna start kind of cleaning everything the stop pin is absolutely gross but we're gonna see if that comes out this is generally kind of when it would come out yep there we go so there's the steel washer and the only reason i'm going to put a little dab of oil on that is truly just to hold it in place and make the whole reassembly easier okay that's good to go I'm gonna take this it's a gun patch honestly I just like it because there's not too much in the way of lint with these things so they're perfect and you know I have gun patches for knives as well as other things so let's take this apart we'll just quick Get the whole thing for them. Get this nice and clean. Get a little bit in that pivot again. And we'll get the stop pin because that was gross. Take it out real quick. Mm hmm. Nice and clean. Squeaky clean. Put that in. Okay, we'll get the washer. Okay, washer is nice and clean. Okay, we'll get this. Get that detent ball, right? I should have started with this is what I was thinking before so might as well just do it I'm just kind of jamming that in there twisting it around getting it nice and clean Yeah, just generally rubbing the whole thing down with alcohol. It dries super quick, so I'm not worried about it causing any damage. I'm going to get the end of that. It's a detent as well as the lock face of the steel lock bar insert. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to just leave that off on the side. And take the other side of this. Get some alcohol in there. And we'll get this out. Or will we? There we go. Clean that up a little bit. All right, so we're good on the scales. Let's get the blade. I'm just gonna do a first initial pass, just through the middle, right in there. There's a lot of junk. That is a little nasty. I'm gonna do another pass with the Q-tip. Get some alcohol. I just needed a clean Q-tip at this point. So we'll go inside again. Good to go. Good to go. Alrighty, 
it's pretty good. Anything should have been loosened up. That stop pin, it was dirty in there. So, makes sense that I'm getting a bunch of crud out now. All right, I'm gonna go with the other side now because that is really dirty. Okay. So just cleaning the detent track, just loosening stuff up more or less with the Q-tip. I don't expect it to actually pick everything up necessarily. Uh, maybe in those hard to reach spots for sure, but main goal is to really like loosen it up that guy is good so i got another patch here i'm gonna get this some alcohol all righty so Got some alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and attack the blade. Now I do have Wicked Clean on hand if there was like a ton of gunk on this blade, but it wasn't that bad. It all seems to be coming off. Definitely was used, I could tell. Um, but yeah, looks fine. And we'll get in here. These patches are great. I forget what brand I even use. Um, uh, this, whatever this is. Pin GMIC, I don't know. It's just an online thing. It came with like Q-tips, like really long Q-tips, um, which is great if you are cleaning other items. The long Q-tips are nice. And those Q-tips are actually like very, very nice. They will not leave lint behind in my experience. So I do like those. Their patches though are the best. I love their patches. Like again, they're like lint free. Okie doke, so that is that. Gonna use this last patch now. Do the bearings, and I believe I forgot that washer. Oops. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's just do these bearings first. Just want to feel everything with my finger. Make sure nothing's locked up. Everything feels good. It's like the best part about these completely caged bearings where both sides are the same. It just seems like so much less stuff gets in them. I'm sure, like, if you really get stuff in there, it could be difficult to use them. But in my experience, they are fantastic. I kind of clean things once, and then I'm good for a long while. And I throw everything in my pocket. Everything gets all linty and dirty. This knife, I assume, is that's what most of the grime was. It was just a lot of crap from everybody's pockets that handle this knife. So my buddy Ev did have this knife to check out. Knife Ninja EDC. And then he asked if he could send it my way. So, really cool. All right, one last Q-tip go. This is probably unnecessary, but I do like going just like in there where it's gonna contact the pivot. I didn't do so on this washer, so I wanna get that 
forget if I did on this one, so hey, why not? And then, yeah, we are good to go. I'm just gonna quick clean this. I just see some like residual oil. It might be just Loctite, honestly. I'm not sure. Oh, and the pivot. I forgot to do the pivot. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, just one of the more important aspects to clean. Okay. I am not going to be able to do that with this. So let's take this off. We're going to get... Quick. These guys. A little bit of ASMR for you guys, eh? All right. Here's another patch. I'm gonna go ahead and get some alcohol. So, I'm sure you guys have seen it before. People put like the screw on there, or the uh, the bit in there. There we go. So, right. And then you kind of just screw it to fully clean it. That's that. Nice and simple. Cleans it. You can see a bunch of schmutz. Alrighty. Just kind of get that line around there. All right, that's that. Now we just got to reassemble and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna give it a second. Alcohol dries pretty quickly. So for oil, I am going to use nano oil, 10 weight. A lot of people use like the five weight on where the bearings go and then the heavier one i think it's like 85 on the detent ball uh i've tried that a few times and it, it works for me 10 weight on everything um so the oil that i'm putting here is really just to keep the washer down i don't think it's necessary i don't think the, the washer itself spins so i like using the tiniest tiniest bit that i can so you see three little dots, a little spin. That's going to keep that down, hopefully. Pivot, place that in. Cool. Pivot itself, I'm going to take a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit here. And again, a little bit in there. There we go. That was a lot. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to put three dabs. One. Two. Three. That's literally all I do. There's three little dots. Take the bearing. Throw her on. Spin her around some. Okay. Then we'll take the blade. So we see this side's going on. I'm going to do the three dabs of oil again. Come on now. That's shy. There we go. Okay. Throw that on there. Give it a little spin. Good enough. And then we'll repeat on this side. Come on now. Alrighty. Throw the bearing down. Give it a little spin. And we're gonna, now this part, I find 
not everyone does this the way I do. So I like kind of taking a little, once it starts coming. So you can see like a very, very light amount. That's all I'm gonna do. Throw that on the D10. You can barely make it out, right? So very small amount. And that's all I wanna do. I don't put it on the detent ball. I don't do any of that. I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna put the washer in. And again, I don't think the oil here is necessary for like lubrication. It's more just, I'm just using it to hold it in place. Give it a spin, bada bang. I do wanna check one quick thing. I had it upside down, this washer. See how there's a race in there? Where the bearing is kind of ground in. So I'm gonna flip this around. Cause I do think that'll help improve the action. Whatever bit he's worn down. I'm not gonna re-oil. I think it's probably enough actually. Okay. So because that oil's there, it should kind of act like a vacuum, essentially, holding that there. I know it's moving around because I'm touching it, but you'll see what I mean momentarily. There's a bit, there's a bit, and there's a bit. And that one drop I got so tiny. Perfect. Okay, so then... Take this guy, throw that on there. I think what I can do Yeah. Yep. Alright, is throw this screw in here first. And then build up. I'll leave that one here. Alrighty, so using this like purely for placement. Okay. We'll flip this guy over and see how the washer stays in there. For now at least. <laughs> Line that up. Alrighty, so here's where it gets a little complicated, right? Experience all the goodness, guys. Oh, dropped something. Ah, the all important stop pin. Can't really do this without that. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it from this way. I've always wondered if I wanted to do one of these types of videos because they always seem so frustrating to do like on camera. <laughs> and yeah, that's because they are. I want to keep a decent view for you guys too, but then I lose the screw. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Get that there. Voila. All right. Let's get this body screw. Hey, oil took a fly. All right. We'll just sink that in ever so slightly. Don't want to go all the way right now. Just enough to kind of hold it in place, right? Oh. Alrighty. Get that back there. I think we're going to need to put this more into place first. Alright. Close that down just a little till it catches. Perfect. Alrighty, so now should be fairly good to go. I'm going to get everything a little more snug. Okay, now I'll work on the pivot. Still pretty loose. I will do the body all the way. And I know I mumbled that. We'll do the body all the way. Okay, everything's fairly tight there. Yep. All right, let's see where we're at. We are very off center. Okay. There. Okay. Let's see where we're at. We are still very off center. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's switch this up a little. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, that felt right. Whew, man. <laughs> yeah, it flies. Okay. So we are, I mean, that looks as Kev at lefty EDC would say that is dead not center. I don't think I can get that any better. The action feels fantastic. Let me just alcohol it all. There we go. No blade play whatsoever. I mean, I don't think I'm getting it better, but I'll see if I can loosen it just a tad, just in case. Okay, still centered, no blade play, whew, whew, oh man, I mean, come on, no grit in there anymore, which you definitely felt a little bit before this all started, so I'm super happy about that, and again, this is just like a simple tear down, clean, Nothing crazy. Okay, a little loose. Ah, we got blade play. Nope, we are going back. Still fairly centered. I might be slightly off now. All right, so we found the threshold. We'll go back to it. Okay. Mm, let's go back. I don't 
don't think I actually tightened it much. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. Are we centered? Oh, yeah. My goodness. The action on this thing's awesome. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you take it apart, put it back together. The ads and real quick, Ergo's pff, money. Money, guys. Oh, man. Like, come on. That angle down. All of it. Like, in hand, fantastic. You could kind of grip up here. It's a little sharp. But the main grip, fantastic. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I know this was a long video. Oh my God, he's going to love what I just did to his knife. <laughs> but yeah, longer video. But I wanted to kind of show you my process. I had fun with that. It's kind of calming for me personally. So sorry if my voice was a little low at times where I was just kind of just like in the zone. But uh, yeah, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.